Hello. You remember that tutorial I made uh, like a f fucking few months ago about how to extract vocals and instrumentals from DVDs? Well, I found a way fucking faster way of doing it without needing to download any extra stuff besides Make MKV and this. So, of course, I'm not going to show off Make MKV because you're going to need to get DVD files or an MKV file that has 5.1 audio. I have some of those in here. So, I'm going to use this Cleveland Show episode. Now, I'm not going to tell you where the fuck to pirate these, okay? I'm not telling you that. Because it's not fucking important. What's important is if the DVD has 5.1 audio, which it should say on the back of the box, or the downloaded file that you have says this, DD 5.1. That's Dolby Digital 5.1 audio. It's incredibly important that you have that. Now, what you do is instead of using Smart Ripper and trying to figure out how that works, you just grab it and drag and drop into Audacity and select six. Yeah, this is a thing. I didn't know about this. And this specific file has two different channels, two different audio types. It has two channel, which is stereo, and six, which is surround. You select six, which will make six tracks. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and show you this complete. Uh, I'm just seeing if I can at least get the intro. So I'm gonna give it a sec. All right, so now we're gonna stop it. And boom, it's right there. It's surprisingly easy. You don't need to do any extra stuff, like get Smart Ripper or anything like that. No, you literally just need the MKV file. Now, if it's an MP4, it's most likely, it's most likely only stereo. I don't think MP4s can support surround. But as you can see here, right here. Now, another thing you want to make sure of is whenever you do this extract the instrumentals of a DVD or 5.1 audio. If you do it in Audacity, don't forget to make this a stereo track because all these are seen as mono right now. To make the stereo track, you have the stereo track up here and the mono track right here. Now, a f now a few seconds late, now a few seconds earlier, you saw me delete these. What are these? Not fucking important, that's what they are. Yeah, this is, this is back left, back right, back. Get rid of them, you don't need them. You need front left, front right, forward. Now if it's cartoon, you're pretty much done. This is the instrumental. Unless it's Family Guy. I completely forgot, this is the annoying thing about Family Guy. The instrumental track will have the voices. And an easy way to fix that is to keep it mono and invert this. Yeah, good luck with that. But right here is the vocals. My name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be right back in my hometown. With and you can do this with anything. As you saw, if we go back here, these are web rips. This is literally a Hulu rip. And if we go in here and go into video, these are DVD rips. These are the actual DVDs themselves. And all of them should have 5.1 audio. Now, if it's an older DVD or they just didn't feel like it, it won't have 5.1 and it'll just be surround. I think the Goofy movie is like that and is still like that. Yeah. Disney Plus, Goofy Movie still not 5.1 audio. Why? The Goofy Movie is such a beautiful fucking movie. Disney, make it 5.1. fucking I want to listen to that shit in surround. Yeah, that's how you rip surround sound audio. It doesn't take that much, but if you're doing something like a cartoon, you might want to turn it up a little bit. It's so like, this is the entire in in opening. 
You want to go over to Amplify, Amplify it. My name is Cleveland Brown. You know. But yeah, that's how you, that's how you get instrumental and vocals from MKV or 5.1 audio uh, videos.